first day of the photo showdown. We just got off the top of the Jackson Hole tram. It's gonna be a day. It's been dumping here for the last two days. Lots of snow, very excited. Taking a contest perspective into anything creative has always been a bit of an enigma to me. I guess my motivation was create some fresh work and work in a different environment than I'm used to. got asked to be a part of this photo contest and as a result we built a team consisting of myself and Mark Carter. You kind of just hustle as much as you can and then put together a little presentation of what you did. They kind of brought up this photo thing I'm like hell yes I mean that sounds amazing I'm, I'm in 100%. Mark is an incredible snowboarder and has amazing mountain awareness but he's also a rancher in the summertime. He's got like a 50,000 acre lease with a thousand head of cattle on it. He works so hard with his family on this ranch that they have. I'm so fortunate to have grown up on a cattle ranch. Not a dude ranch, like a real working ranch with just cowboy shit, tough. There was no quit. If you quit, you didn't survive. Because it's a huge responsibility being a rancher and having all these animals depending upon you. And so, like, with that work ethic, I just took that to snowboarding. The hardest days snowboarding are always, like, the easiest days on a ranch, you know? And, like, I always think about that when I'm in the backcountry. I want to have fun. You know, I want to be with people that, like, care and laugh and don't take it too serious because, man, it's just skiing and snowboarding at the end of the day, you know? <laughs> Morning. We just got to Togety Pass and we're gonna rip the sleds up and hopefully put in a trail, maybe be a little productive, which will be awesome. Day two of the photo showdown. Next flight. Was a day. We needed this. This is what we needed. One of the most special parts of Aaron and my relationship is that for me, I've been so driven by the outdoors, by the mountains, and for Aaron, he's so driven by creativity and certainly opened up my eyes and made me appreciate all of those things that maybe I was missing out on because I was so focused on being in the mountains all the time.
to our uh, awards presentation. So first place is Aaron Black. Yeah. It was super fun to story tell with those guys. We did some stuff that was outside of the box, and I haven't done anything like that in many years. I kind of immediately felt at home here. And I think it was a combination of the open spaces and the mountains just being so jagged and so visible from town and the people that I got to interact with. The community vibe is really strong. I think, you know, what makes Jackson Hole so unique in a lot of ways, it's, it's a very fall line mountain. You know, 4,000 vertical feet of steep fall line terrain that you can get to the top of in 10 minutes. I think people often have that experience in Jackson where it kind of blows their mind. One of the special treats of this trip has definitely been going to the resort with Yoder and watching the way that he rides the mountain. The way that these guys can pump into a turn and carve and the way that they visualize the mountain is totally different than the way that I ski a mountain. It makes me want to snowboard. I met Yoder, he was one of the first people that I met in Jackson. He has got to have probably my favorite turn on a snowboard, hands down, I would say. It's super unique and it's beautiful and I haven't seen anyone else quite master the turn like Alex Yoder. There's all of this transition on the mountain that I've noticed in the last five years that I never did growing up. And just that slight change of perspective changed the mountain exponentially. I think you get to know people pretty quickly when you spend a day in the backcountry together. And I have a lot of respect for Michelle. You know, in the short time I've known her, she also knows that it's a privilege to be out there doing that. And so we need to enjoy it because that's the whole reason we started in the first place. Leaving Jackson, I feel like I have unfinished business. The Tetons and that entire range right there is just like packed full of a lifetime alliance and I'd love to get higher in those mountains and it was hard to leave that behind. That's a lesson of patience and it left me wanting more and I will definitely be going back.